Conservationists say last Monday's flooding is having a devastating impact on one of the country's native animals. A small army of volunteers is doing what it can to prevent entire populations of southern hairy-nosed wombats from being wiped out. This land near Swan Reach is normally dry, but recent flooding has trapped populations of southern hairy-nosed wombats in their burrows. You can see just here under the water that there's burrow systems that are still obviously covered. It's long been a wombat habitat, but over the past few days, conservationist Bridget Stevens says her team has pulled out at least 60 dead animals from the water, and she believes hundreds more have been killed. For the wild population, it's, it's really a catastrophic event that's happened to them. I haven't seen anything like this before, never. Volunteers are doing what they can to dig collapsed dirt from the entrance of the burrows and pump water out. So if we can try and free some of that water out of there, hopefully there'll be some air pockets that... Um the wombats will at least get oxygen and have the potential of being able to get out of the burrows. The rescue effort is being made all the more difficult in areas like this where the water hasn't receded since Monday's flooding. It means rescuers can't get to the burrows as there's simply too much water to pump away. Rangers from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources have checked burrows near Blanchetown. They believe wombats living in this area are not affected as they are on higher ground. Downstream though, time is ticking to save the animals. Well, we have seen them come out after 11 days, but we haven't seen it this bad. Volunteers will continue to work over coming days. Emma Rebellato, ABC News, Swanreach.